For the 87 Caprice Classic, L.S. Brown in the shop. I'm finna show you how to remove this quarter top, which I got an old video. It's been years ago when I first did this car. I had to tuck the top off. I'm gonna show you how to remove it because I know a lot of guys be wondering how you take it off. First, um, let's get this glass out because I gotta put this glass in. That's the reason why I'm taking it off. Let's get this glass out and put it on the stand. Here's the glass. It just don't have a defrost on it like the original. Okay, we're finna remove this top, which has already been started. Just gotta take this trim here off. All it do, well it's three pieces, this piece this metal piece that connect the other side. It's a screw right here. You gotta take out. And then once you take that screw out, you can just pop it up. See these pieces here? Sit down up in here. Gotta do that on both sides. Then you're gonna have this piece here. It's gonna be right there. It's gonna have three screws you gotta take out. The screw is gonna look like this here. Do that on both sides. Then let me pop the trunk. Okay, in the trunk, you're gonna have two fasteners, one on each side like this here. And you get to those, you're gonna have to pull this here back. Then it's like some insulation on the side up. Just remove it, you can get to it like that. But I'm gonna show you where they at. It's a stud. I don't know if you can see it, it's right there. It's going through the body. It's gonna be held down by these two fasteners on this side. Remove those. After that, your fabric, vinyl, canvas, whatever you got. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna be glued. So you're gonna have to remove it from here. Once you do that, get on the inside and take this trim piece down here. I got a third brake light that I installed. I'm gonna have to remove first. And it's just Phillips. I think it's six of them. Three at the bottom and three at the top. Removing this trim here. It's pretty much the most important piece because I done seen a lot of guys think uh, that they didn't know there was some fastness behind this here. And what they'll do, they'll try to take the fiberglass shell off. They'll try to pull it and they'll rip it up right here. So you wanna make sure you get these fasteners on the inside. Here's that trim piece. Let me show you why you remove that. Because you got six Phillips down up in here. You got one now. Let me see if I can get you a good shot of one. See that one? One here. Where's well, six of them? Once you remove those, you're good to go. Let's take them loose. Once you remove those six screws out from in here, you're gonna have some rivets along this top up here. Let me see if I can peel this canvas back and show it to you.
let me get this canvas then i'll show you well let me let me get it back so i can show you what i'm talking about if i can find one okay here go one here you're gonna have to drill those out along the top then you're gonna have a rivet here and also one somewhere up in here you won't have to take out the rivets broke loose i'm gonna show you what he's at you see there's one there but i actually put screws in this when i when i put this down the top on well canvas top i put screws back in man i didn't put rivets in this here but you're gonna have rivets on the original once you get those two rivets there out on both sides everything should be loose you should be able to lift the top right up off of it it's like a piece of metal right here with the top sit down in so you're gonna have to lift it up and then pull it off you ain't gonna be able to just pull it off this way you're gonna have to lift it up some tilt it i'm gonna put this sheet on the deck lid just to keep from stretching it up Cardboard or something. I'm gonna put these where the studs at sticking out. Gotta be careful with this glass because he got some. Broken glass. I don't want to stress the paint up. Top removed. Okay, this is what it look like. Got this fiberglass shell here. Because on a, just a regular box shaving. The glass sits up in here, just on LS, Brohams, Brohams, whatever you want to call them. It's got this uh, fiberglass shield here. It make the glass sit back some. As you can see here, I'm going to get a vacuum, vacuum all this up, all this glass. Because he already got, I guess, where it busted from the jump. Chips there. Y'all remember I did that fiberglass uh, repair? It was a rust right here, rust spot. Did a fiberglass repair here. Still look like the day when I done it. Just a little dusty. Go to the other side. Everybody said the one gonna hold up. Let me go ahead and clean all this glass out. Oh, let me show you the quarter top. You see here? Those, those attachments that I was talking about, you gotta make sure you get out. And that's that middle piece that slides over this here. Looks like we ran into a roadblock. I started to looking at this glass here. It seemed like it was a little bit bigger than that, so I got the tape measure out. This one here is 17 inches. So that one made for the, just the regular box shavers, not for the fiberglass shell. Cause this one here is like 13 inches. So I'm gonna have to call Pete, the owner, See if he can get in touch with the glass people, see if they can get the right glass, or if not, he gonna have to find one out of an old box Chevy. And I think that's gonna be hard. Are you gonna pay a arm and a leg for it? 
But once we find out something, I'll cut you back on. I just finished removing the old glass around here. I had talked to Pete, told him about the situation. I don't know if he's going to try to find one locally, but I seen one on eBay. It was $199 plus $99 shipping coming from Jacksonville, Florida. I don't know which way he's going to go with it, but once I get the glass, I'll cut you back on. It's been a few months, and I'm finally going to put this back glass in. The owner, he never did buy the one off eBay. And Steve Davis had one, and I mentioned it to him, but he never did make the trip to go get it. So he decided to go with this polycarbonate sheet it's just some like plexiglass it's cut out the sides now i just gotta put it in the uh, opening and i got some back glass some windshield back glass sealer i'm gonna use this to seal it so we're gonna get started putting it in yeah, he can come get his uh, box shit because I know he's ready to ride in it. I've been having it ever since. That's what it looked like here. Huh? Hopefully we'll have enough. Sealed, installed. Now I'm ready to put the sheet on. Made sure I pressed everything down so it had contact. Now I just got to take the plastic off. Top back on. Stop. 